Welcome back. And uh, let's now quickly get you to, of course, uh, these major things that happened today in history. I'm going back many, many, many years ago, 1908. It was the year that, um, you know, a law came into play in the United States where women were banned from smoking in public. Um, people, of course, would always you know, feed off this and say, you know, why women? You know, what exactly was um, it about women that made them to be singled out, you know, with this law? And of course, you know, even me telling the story, I really don't even understand it myself. But <laughs> that's exactly what happened today in 1908. And it was simply because, you know, and, you know, if you read the story, you realize that there was actually no reason given, aside the fact that it just didn't look nice and it was unhealthy. And so 21st of January 1908, the Sullivan's, uh, Sullivan Ordinance was passed in New York City, which made it illegal for women to smoke in public. It didn't bar women from smoking in generally, but just didn't want them to be seen smoking in public. It also uh, placed a $5 fine for anyone who broke that law and made uh, public places, bars and, and lounges and clubs and the rest of them, um, you know, now also be liable to be found guilty if they allowed women to smoke in public. Right after it was enacted on January 22nd, a woman, Katie Mokahe, uh, the only person who was cited for breaking this ordinance was fined $5 for smoking in public and she was arrested. Uh, for refusing to pay the fine. $5 in 1908 must have been a lot of money. Um, it placed the responsibility, like I said, on the shoulders of those in charge of public places, particularly restaurants and hotel owners. And also, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, fallout from, from this, several citizens spoke out against the ordinance at the public hearing before the vote was taken. Um, speakers at the ordinance hearings reported never having actually seen women smoking in public and expressed desire for not only a ban on women smoking, but a ban on smoking in the presence of a woman. So it, it was a bit confusing and a bit controversial, and I think it was overturned much, much later in 1927. Um, but this happened in 1908 and once again brings back the conversation of, you know, why, you know, are women sometimes always you know, treated unfairly, if, if you can describe it that way. Because yeah. there's absolutely no reason that was given for this, aside the fact that some men just didn't like it, you know, didn't look healthy, didn't look nice, and so, you know, there was a ban placed on it. Yeah, but the ban didn't cover men also. So sad. You know how this this thing about uh, gender inequality, yeah. you know, it was right for the men, but it was wrong for the women. I remember back then, we're talking about in 2020, February, how some Saudi women they were smoking in public, you know, to celebrate their, their freedom, so to speak. So I guess they just did what they wanted to do, that I'm talking about the Saudi women now, to yes. signify that they're free from the shackles of, you know, what society can tell them, uh, you know, to do or not to do. And it's, and it's, it's more, you know, annoying, you know, reading these things and realizing that it really wasn't backed by any particular health, you know, reasons or any other reason aside the fact that some people just found it, found, you know, were uncomfortable with the idea. And, you know, so how do you create laws simply because they don't fit what you like? And it's the same thing with, you know, what happens in our society today where, um, you know, people can create laws or create religious laws simply because they try to control women, you know, and tell a woman how to dress, you know, and tell a woman, oh, why is your back showing in, in the picture you posted? I remember that happened yes. late last year. Simply because of one person or two, you know, a couple of people's feelings inside of them, you know, so they force laws to, you know, control other people because they are not comfortable with it. And it makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, smoking remains very dangerous to your absolutely. health. But it's great that people have that freedom, that liberty to do, you know, what they want. And the next thing, the next big thing uh, that occurred today in history, January 21st, 2020, was the first confirmed case of COVID-19 in the United States of America. Now, this first case in the U.S. was confirmed uh, in a man from Washington State. He was experiencing a cough a fever, he was nauseous, he was vomiting, and the Center for Disease Control, CDC, announced on January 21st that the 35-year-old had tested positive for COVID-19. He was hospitalized where his condition grew worse and he developed a pneumonia. His symptoms abated 10 days later, and in the following months, the Seattle area became the epicenter for the coronavirus in the U.S. 39 residents of the Life Care Center uh, in nursing home in Kirkland died from complications of the virus in a one, uh, in one four-week span. Now, according to the American CDC, 14 U.S. COVID-19 cases were noted 
by public health agencies between January 21st and February 23rd, and all patients had unfortunately traveled to China. Now you know what happened when this virus broke out, when it became a pandemic. Businesses, schools, social gatherings were largely shut out, shut down. People were required to wear their face masks, stay indoors. And uh, well, the first year's vaccinations for COVID-19 began to be administered on December 14th, 2020. Right now, the COVID-19 pandemic continues to surge around the world. And a good thing that we have vaccines from uh, uh, different uh, healthcare and uh, manufacturing companies. Yes, um, also to quickly note that more than 400,000 people have uh, since that time died from COVID-19 in the US. Uh, about 24 million people have um, also been infected in that time. So it started on this day, yes. 2020. And uh, um, since then, you know, it's been one year of total chaos. Uh, with you know the virus and, and unfortunately the United States has the highest death rate um, and also highest infection figures um, we hope you know that you know this whole era passes as quickly as possible a lot of people expected that it was going to be a two-month thing you know maybe three weeks and we'll be done with no it one but saw this, you know, no one ever thought it would be this long I mean really really sad all right um, that's what we have for you 1908 and the year 2020 today in history we're moving next to talking about the new president of the United States uh, POTUS 46 uh, inauguration day was yesterday. The whole world was watching and everyone got to see um, and listen to an inaugural speech that we'll be speaking about next with Professor Pat Utomi. Stay with us here on The Breakfast. We'll be back.